guys and welcome back and you have tuned in to of course Jeff Tutorials myself. In today's video I want to discuss a very interesting topic I found. I was looking around YouTube and no one covered this yet surprisingly so I decided to be first and cover this topic which is very cool and the possibility that Rockstar might be removing the infamous strip club inside of Grand Theft Auto 5 and removing it completely from Grand Theft Auto 6. So hopefully you guys will enjoy. If you do, make sure you guys drop a like, it really support the video and help the video to get out to a bigger audience because a lot of people would be interested on this. And if you guys are new to the channel and you see that red subscribe button down below, click that and you'll get notified whenever I upload a brand new video. Anyways, with that said, let's go and hop right on in. So as most of you guys know, Rockstar Games and Take-Two Interactive were sued just a couple of months ago by a group of feminists. Now I don't want to make this video a whole bunch of drama bashing feminists or agreeing with them, but I'm just going to give you guys the facts and you can decide what side you stand on. So going back to the point, they were sued just a couple of months ago, I would say four to five months, and lawsuits take a while to go through. So recently the lawsuits started wrapping up, more information started coming out publicly, and one of the arguments that they were having was that strip clubs have females inside the game, which most strip clubs do, and the feminists did not like that, so they were fighting for Rockstar to remove the infamous strip club from Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, we don't know if they actually won on that because the whole lawsuit was on a number of different things and that was one of them. It was actually extending to other games by Take-Two Interactive because as you know, Take-Two Interactive makes a whole bunch of great series, but one of them, one of the biggest ones is under Rockstar Games and of course that is Grand Theft Auto. So one of the points was to remove the strip club, another one was that uh, the Poppy Mitchell person that was in one of the uh, missions that you did in single player, they didn't like that person and they thought that there was something wrong with it so they wanted to remove her from the game even though everyone already played single player I'm guessing. So it was a whole bunch of stuff and it's kind of crazy that they could have lost and maybe in the future Rockstar may be removing it. Now, it might be a few months until we actually figure out what they lost and what they won. So if they lost that, and the feminists, obviously, if they won that, and they want Rockstar to remove the strip club, Rockstar is legally obligated to do whatever they want, as long as the other side or the other party, as they would say in legal terms, won. So yeah, that is probably going to wrap up this video. Pretty crazy stuff going on. I want to let you guys know that this is like a video where I just want to say the facts, I'm not going on anyone's side, but I won't let you guys decide what side you're on, and let me know in the comments down below, who do you agree with, who do you think won, and do you think Rockstar should have removed the strip club from Grand Theft Auto 5, or do you even care at all? I personally don't really care if they remove it or not, but it is kind of crazy that they have the possibility of removing it. Anyways, make sure you guys drop a like rating on this video if you haven't already, and subscribe to the channel if you are new, because I upload daily Grand Theft Auto 5 content. Anyways, my name is Jeff, thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.